So today I'm going back to my old roots. A lot of you have asked for old squad builders, pack and play and stuff like that and some actual FIFA gameplay and here today we are doing that alright. We're starting off with the best halfway line goal squad builder alright and you're going to see the one from last night, Memphis Depay's last night goal okay in this video. So every time something decent happens in football I'm going to make a squad builder around it exactly like the Memphis Depay goal last night. So if you guys want to subscribe to me down below obviously that'll be, that'll be the new series starting. And of course if you want to see another episode of this maybe if something different happens drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Any likes on this video always greatly appreciated so drop a thumbs up down below if you want to see more look i'm on there there you go see i'm on fifa as i was said i was gonna do i said i was eventually gonna make some sort of gameplay video and i'm here today with a brand new squad builder series starting up again haven't done this for a few years now so i'm gonna be here today making it for you mullin all right mullin mate now starting off in the goalkeeper position this is more than a halfway line because the goalkeeper one is pretty tricky to do we've got tim howard all right tim howard's got an absolute bang out of a long range goal against bolton in his everton days so obviously he had a lot of he had a lot of help to be honest from the wind and stuff like that obviously osman there is buzzing everyone's buzzing tim howard to be fair reacts really coolly but bogdan is fuming mate you can see how windy it is by his ginger hair just you know getting taken by the wind and stuff but tim howard i mean not many goalkeepers score halfway line goals because they're not usually that far up the pitch so for the one instance of this one video i've had to do a whole basically pitch goal which tim howard obviously wins the goalkeeper slot i could have gone for paul robinson i could have gone for a different few suggestions to be honest but this one just seemed pretty fitting all right tim howard still in the game 84 red card pretty decent. Next up in the left back position and we do have actually John Aturn or John a fan of the night pronounce that Soriano. This guy scored a halfway long goal against Ajax, was it Ajax? Which is obviously a big team. So of course the ones in this video are going to be basically all the goals between the halfway line and probably the edge of the semi circle, well the centre circle, right? So any goal, any gap between there is obviously we're going to count as a halfway line goal and Soriano is the left back of this team. Massive, massive strike from him. Like he's not even like clipped it, he's, he's just absolutely hit it on the laces. He's like just struck it mate, which is like like as if he was just edge of the box having a strike which is quite an interesting technique keepers well off his line well well off his line you can see he's gonna be beat the keeper knows he's gonna be beat he's backing off he's backing off and unfortunately mate it is well too late soriano has absolutely banged it from there keeper fuming mate he's on the ground fuming i think you know there's sort of a thing for goalkeeper getting beat by this it's always embarrassing my cousin actually got beat by a goal kick in sunday league like that last season and yeah he still gets ripped for that now like still to this day i wish i had the footage of that to chuck it in this video just for a bit of banter, but I don't, so yeah, I might as well forget about that. Next up, we got Shabby Alonso, right? Shabby Alonso in his Liverpool days scoring a halfway line goal with him. This guy, obviously, a bit of a legend. He's retiring this year, so, you know, pay our respects to him. And obviously, he's lived the game massively. He's done this well in his own half against Newcastle, and the goalkeeper's tripped, right? So it's, it's still a decent one. I know the goalkeeper tripped, but this one's further in his own half, so it makes it a little bit cooler. Not really sure what a Newcastle keeper was doing. Obviously, he was a bit off his line. That's why Alonso's gone for the original strike or whatever, but obviously, when he's tried backtracking or whatever he slipped and he just tried to scrape it out and it just it just had it's not enough is it it's not enough he actually wins the ball from a tackle he goes to pass it no options on that he wants to do goalkeeper's well beat mate and he's fuming at that he's fuming and yes the memphis to one is coming up as well which i can't wait to show you that one because that is a fresh new clip next one is another center back now but he actually not a center back in real life he, he's never played center back and he's not even this guy we've got beck right we're actually talking about beckham this is the closest i could get to david beckham right not even joking you there's no beckham's there's beckham there's Beckenbauer, there's Beck, you know, I just didn't know what to do. But anyway, we all know about David Beckham's wonder goal, okay, against, was it Wimbledon back in the day? So he just gets the ball literally on the halfway line as well. The ball's rolling. I, I reckon he strikes it exactly on the halfway line. The most accurate halfway line goal we're probably going to see in this whole video because it's literally bang on the line. It's very rare. I don't know what he's seen, but obviously the goalkeeper off his line, of course. Now, if you look at, oh, see, it's all very, very close to being exactly on the line. So that's pretty crazy. The goalkeeper knows he's been beat, I think. Or does the goalkeeper think it's going over what is he at what's going for his mind exactly obviously the ball's pinged over he's running back he turns around and he sort of just sort of accepts it's gone in or he thinks it's over i'm not really sure exactly what's running through his mind but yes what i do want to say andreas beck isn't the guy we're talking about of course andreas beck i'm sorry mate you, i don't think you've scored a halfway line goal i'm sorry someone that scored a halfway line goal just inside all right just inside their own half and he's a right back and he's actually a very very good right back 84 rated florenzi and he scored against a pretty big opponent in barcelona as well so as you guys can see he runs 
Jones in his own half there, and he just pinged, and Tostegan's been sent, mate. Tostegan's been absolutely sent. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know what Florenzi's thinking, even shooting. But yes, there's one point to Stegen's. Oh, and it's pinged off the post to the other side as well. I mean, that is one of the best. That has got to be one of the best, surely. It's pinged off the far post as well. I don't know if Stegen just accepted he was going to get beat, or maybe he thought he was going wide or over. I'm not really sure what he thought, but I'm pretty sure he, when it was coming over, he thought, this is dangerous shit. And we just admire Florenzi's got probably the best right back card in the game, 80 plus and everything. I mean, that's a pretty insane card to have. I'm not going to lie to you. And obviously, your shooting stats, 82 shooting, mate. We've seen it against Barca. We've seen it against Barca. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. The next one is probably the best technique halfway in goal I've seen, I reckon. Technique wise, you know, the way he struck the ball against Schalke, against Manuel Neuer, plus Stankovic. This guy ain't the guy, neither. This guy isn't the guy. Stankovic obviously isn't a FIFA anymore, so we've got basically Stankovic younger. I want to say brother, but he's probably not related at all. Anyway, Neuer obviously he's come out for a diving header. He's come off his line really quick. I think we're like 23, 24 seconds into a game as well. Stankovic has called it on the side volley. Strike, mate. He's come across it like that and just volleyed it straight first time into the net, of course. Now, I think a lot of people won't appreciate the actual technique on this. Look at the way he's come through on the side volley to get that that accurate, straight in the net, no bounce, just straight away. I mean, that takes pure class. Zanetti's gassed, everyone's gassed, the fans are going absolutely mental. Manuel Neuer, the best goalkeeper in the world, is going to beat by that as well. I mean, you know, it's a double whammy, surely. Champions League goal, Stankovic, what a guy. This isn't Stankovic, sorry, by the way. This isn't Stankovic, of course. To be honest, what Neuer did, come off his line quick, he saved his back four pretty well, because I don't think they were going to get there. Melita was sort of through, but he, I just didn't, don't think he expected such class on the end of that volley. The more I look at that technique, the more it shocks me, and the more it's amazing. Now, there's one person you want in your midfield when you want, you know, a ping, all right? And it is Charlie Adams. He scored a halfway line goal, okay, against Chelsea as well, and against Courtois. So this is what makes these clips extra amazing. The scoring against big teams or big games or against big goalkeepers. Charlie Adams did that for Stoke against Chelsea. So he picks up the ball here. He's looking around for options. Doesn't see anything. He's well in his own half, like by quite a bit. Courtois so far off his line. He does manage to turn around, sprint, and gets a little bit of a hand to it, but it's just not enough. I personally don't know what is going through Courtois' mind. He's just like sort of chucking his arms about like, ah, oh, shit happens, mate. Shit doesn't happen, but shit does happen when you do stuff like that, sunshine. He's got Juve ahead of him. That's about it, I believe. And he's just thought, I've got nothing else but to go for goal there. Like, literally. He's edge of the box, Courtois is, and yeah, he's been done. It's the, ball, the ball's curved in the air as well to make it extra harder for him. If I want another sentiment next to him, alongside him, has got a ping on him as well, actually. It's John Joe Shelby, who's actually he got a halfway line goal in him as well. So John Joe Shelby, he's picked up the ball where he's like chested it and he's like half volleyed it straight, okay, from like literally the edge of the halfway line. And it's just pinged in the top right hand corner and the side netting as well. It's moved in the air and come down into the side netting, mate. What technique on that? I don't know if the goalkeeper thinks it's actually going over or wide. I'm not really sure, but mate, it goes top bins. Top bins. So we've got Charlie Adams, John Joe Shelby. We need another centre mid now to go alongside him all. And this one's probably a bit of a higher level, actually. It's actually Pajanic. Pajanic is the next one. This guy's got a ping in him as well. One of the best midfielders in the game currently. Look at them stats. Now, I'm not really sure, mate. This one's against Manchester United, I believe. So, I'm a bit fuming about this, to be honest. He picks up the ball here. Man United 3-0 up. No one cares. Roma don't care. And he just pings it. He just tries his luck, mate. And the goalkeeper's well off his line. I don't know where the goalkeeper is going, to be honest. I think it's Ben Amos in goal, whatever. But Janis picks up the ball here. He's just had a little look. And he just pinged it. He just pinged it for, like, no reason, basically. And it's just gone in. I think it was a little bit of hit and luck. Well, hit and hope really. But of course, he'll take it. And yeah, they were 3-0 down. So he thought, fuck it, basically. That's what he thought. That's exactly what he thought. Charlie Adam, John Joe Shelby. And now we've got the Memphis Depay one coming up next. This one from last night is huge, right? I'm, I'm, I'm excited to show you this. Being a Man United fan, I'm happy for him. I'm genuinely really happy for him. So for some reason, he picks up the ball, twists at his guy. And look, I don't think he even looks up, mate. And he just punts it. And it goes so, so high, mate. It's out of the camera angle. You can't even see it anymore. Look, I'm looking at him. He doesn't even look up, mate. He doesn't even look to see what a goal Goalkeeper is. Now the goalkeeper is on the edge of the box for no reason. Don't know why he's there. And he doesn't even look up at pings in the ball goes so high, mate. So so high that it comes out of the camera angle. Since this guy is left, Man United has been absolutely smashing it for Leon, of course. And look at this amazing, amazing 85 rated car. Look at the stats on and yes, now he's scoring halfway like goals. And you know, I can't believe it. I'm actually really happy for him being a Man United fan. So if you come to this video for that, mate. 
huge. Last but not least, we've got Wayne Rooney, his ex-teammate, of course. Obviously, this guy scored a pretty big halfway lane goal against West Ham, I believe. So, rumour has it, it was a bit of a foul, apparently. A little bit of a nudge in the back. He's half volleyed it, and it's moved, moved, moved in the air. The goalkeeper's just thought, oh, man, I'm bollocks, and just falls over. Obviously, a lot of West Ham fans, people, all said that that was a foul. David Beckham was in the stadium as well, watching, and he's thinking, oh, my God, a bit similar to his one, of course. Now, West Ham obviously thought it was a foul. Of, of course, you know, Rooney. Let's have a little look. Little nudge. I don't know. It's a little bit soft. Half volley and it's moved in the air. Keeper's been well beat, mate. He's been absolutely slammo. Anyway, guys, here is my squad builder of top 11 halfway line goals in football. Of course, we've got the new one, Memphis Depay. All the latest cards and stuff. It's been a pretty good episode. I've really enjoyed making this for you guys. If you want to see more, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to me for more football squad builders just below the video. It's free of charge to subscribe. And yes, I'm out, guys. Has been pleasure as always. Take it easy. Peace.